Righto, what's up? 20 past 3 on uh, Thursday afternoon, I'm about to go and do a mixed hill and tempo session, which I'm bloody keen for. I haven't had a great week, to be uh, 100% honest. I've only ran once, which is Tuesday. I rested Monday and Wednesday. And I just don't like running. I'm backing off now, obviously, because I'm getting closer to the race. But running uh, sort of most days is like my routine. It's what makes me feel good without it. I just like don't know what to do. I don't feel as good. I don't feel as energetic. So I'm putting it down to that. And I just smashed my finger at work before I left. It doesn't look like much. It is so painful. There's a war going on outside, no man is safe from. You could run, but you can't hide forever from these streets that we done took. You walk with your head down, scared to look. You shook, cause ain't no such things as halfway crooks. They never around when the beef cooks in my part of town. It's similar to Vietnam. Now we all grown up and old and be on the cops control. They better have a riot gear ready. Trying to back me and get rock steady. Buy the Mac one double. I touch you and leave you with not much to go home with. My skin is thick. Cause I'll be up in the mix of action. If I'm not at home, puffin' live, relaxin'. New York got a nigga depressed. So I wear a slug proof underneath my guest. God bless my soul. Before I put my foot down and begin to stroll into the drama I built. And all oh, I'm finished. Well, I feel like a million times better now. And uh, I know I was just complaining about having two rest days. But my legs feel like brand new. I still, I, just, I feel so good after that run. It's crazy how good running makes you feel. I don't know how people go through their lives without running. Bloody beautiful, man. Thanks, Heading to bed. It's 8.30. <laughs> it's like, 8.30 is like a late night for me. 20,000 steps for the day. I'm still stoked on that run. Just going to read my new book, Malcolm X Autobiography. It's really good. Mum's dal for tea that she cooked, also really good. Needed that coffee more than ever this morning. It is, ugh, it has been a week. For context, it's Saturday morning at quarter past nine. Uh, I had to travel a couple of times this week and I got home late last night, 11.30, got to sleep like 12. I go to bed at like 8.30, 9 o'clock and I wake up, regardless of whatever time I go to bed, I wake up at 5am, I'm just hardwired for it, I can't sleep in, which is fine because I love being up early in the morning, it's when I'm energetic, it's when I get stuff done. But obviously I haven't had my usual amount of sleep, so a bit dusty this morning. Thoughts on uh, this salmon? I don't even know what it's called. The salmon's names for stuff is ridiculously confusing, but uh, it's good. I really like it. The straps, not the greatest. They kind of come loose, but they're still improving on the, the last version. So overall, it's a good thing. Twenty-two k's done. 
Felt great once I got out, didn't feel tired anymore. That's why you just gotta get out the door. It's always the hardest bit. All right, so it's now two o'clock. I ran for about two and a quarter hours, 2015 minutes. I'm now really hungry. This was something different, but like more so than usual. But while I was on my run, I remembered smoothie to wash the uh, burrito down. I got two bananas, coconut milk, peanut butter, and some hemp protein powder in there. And I've got a veggie bar. I'm only gonna eat half of that. Not the uh, not the best thing, but it's so good. <laughs> That's pretty much the day. I've just been and visited my niece. It's about 20 past 7 now. I'm not going to sleep just yet. I'm just going to read. I can't put this book down. It's uh, really good. Ever since I was a kid, I've always loved reading. And autobiography has always been like my favourite type of book. That one is top shelf. I can't, someone recommended it to me a fair while ago. I've just been meaning to buy it. And I uh, finally got it. Super good. That's what I'm going to do. And then I will get a reasonably early night, catch up on some sleep. And I'm uh, ready to run again tomorrow. Before they come back, what are we gonna do? I don't know. Let's just make a run for it. I can't run. I have a bad hamstring. How about that? I heard it in a hotel room. You know the way they tuck the covers in real tight in those hotel rooms? I can't sleep like that, so I tried to kick it out and I pulled it. I know. Why do they make that bed so? Uh -huh. It's uh, 10, 5 past 10 in the AM, Sunday. Just did an easy, about an hour, 60 minutes, 13, bit over 13 k's, just easy running out on the road. Gonna uh, make a smoothie. <laughs> I've gotten through just like literally just thinking about having a smoothie when I finish is uh, quite a lot. Quarter to five, I spent the afternoon editing this video and playing guitar. I don't get anywhere near as much time to play as what I used to, so if I get a spare couple of hours, I like to sit down and try and pick a few tunes. I'm seriously rusty though. <laughs> Nowhere near as good as what I used to be. I've lost all my chops, but it's what happens when you don't practice. I just don't have enough time to dedicate properly to it at the moment. I'm kind of choosing to dedicate that to that time to running right now, but um yeah, it's Sunday, so I have a quick look at uh, what I did this week. 60.8 k's for the week, 5 hours and 17 minutes spent running, and 1,600 metres of climbing. Two weeks to go to Mount Solitary now, so a lot less volume this week, but I'm looking really forward to it. Can't wait. The workout I had on Thursday, I'm pretty sure it was, the hill reps and then the tempo, that was like as good as I've ever felt. So I've said before, I can never tell what my fitness is really, but I reckon it's pretty good right now relative to me. So I reckon I've got a good shot at having a, a decent race as long as uh, I'm good mentally on the day. Keep the old top paddock in check. Should be good. Put us together, the slight mixing vodka and milk. I'm going out blasting, taking my enemies with me. And if not.